Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can go about collecting feedback on an existing design. So this is a really great process if you are prototyping an idea or testing an idea either internally, you know, with stakeholders or externally with customers, and you wanna have a more formalized way of collecting their feedback, not just, you know, your, your notes, for example. So what you can do is hop into any design that you like. Uh, I'll just pick this one, for example, my Google Calendar clone. And up in the top right hand corner, when you click share, you'll notice that there is a collect feedback option here. So you go ahead and select that and select enable feedback. You'll also want to edit the questions here. So you'll see I already have a couple of questions set up on this one, uh, but you can change this to whatever you like. So adding a new question is pretty straightforward. If I was to clear this out, I simply select add question. I can say something like, what is your name? And we can have that as a text uh, field. We can also have multiple choice or rating fields, right? So if you want to give them a, a set of selections or, you know, like a rating from one to five, whatever like you want, uh, you can go ahead and do that. So we'll go, you know, what is your name? And then we'll say, um, what do you think? And we'll make this one a rating selection as well. You can see it comes with some default values. So once we have that set up, we can go ahead and click share, grab the link here for the design and open that up in a new tab. And what you'll see is that we have our design as well as our feedback down here, which can be minimized and then opened back up. We can go ahead and fill that out. So I'll just say my name is Colin and I'll say five. So that's the process of setting up feedback. Once you have the feedback collected, once again, if you go back to collect feedback, you'll see there's a button here for download responses. Downloading the responses gives you this set of files. That's the responses and you can do whatever you like with that. So for example, you could you know, pass that into Claude or ChatGPT to do some analysis and give you some information on the questions and the responses. One important note is every time you add new questions, so let's say you set up two or three questions at the beginning, then you remove them and add new ones. Even if they have the same title, they'll be added as new columns. So you wanna make sure that you think a little bit about the questions you wanna add first, and then add the questions once later on, ideally so you don't end up with data that's a little bit harder to read. But yeah, that's going to be on feedback collection. It's actually a fantastic feature if you want to do that kind of in internal stakeholder, uh, you know, an analysis or alignment. You know, you could share this with your boss, ask them what they think, uh, you know, other stakeholders internally, and just find a way to like basically collect some feedback in a more structured, independent way uh, than, you know, in a, in a call or a meeting. Obviously, I'd still recommend doing that as well. Uh, but, you know, it gives you an opportunity to collect one-on-one -on -one feedback kind of at scale. So yeah, that's going to be it for this one. When you're ready, I'll see you in the next one.